Hello, I'm Hannah, and in this video I'll walk you through how to use Accurex Patient Triage, our online consultation tool, to contact your practice to ask for help for a medical condition. This is just another way of contacting your practice in addition to your current contact methods. Please only use this form if you are already registered as a patient to your practice. This is what the form will look like when you access it from your practice link. When submitting the form, you'll need to answer a few short questions and your practice will get back to you in the determined time frame specified at the top of the form here. This is a confidential form, but if you have any questions on how Accurex manages your submission, please see more information by clicking here. If you'd like to chat to our support team for more information on this or how the form works, click here to start a chat with the team. Today I'm going to take you through how to ask for help for a medical issue. So you just click on that button there and you'll see that the first page you get taken to is a page with any red flag symptoms. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, please contact 111 or 999 and don't continue with the form. On this page, you submit the bulk of your medical information. So these are the questions that ask you about your medical condition. These are all free text boxes, so you can write what you want up to 300 characters at a time. In this case, we might write as an example, I have a rash on my inner elbow. You can write more on this if you wish, and you can also attach a photo. So you can upload up to five photos at a time. And if you upload the wrong photo, then don't hesitate to be able to delete it by using the rubbish bin here. The next question, which is a compulsory question, is how long have these symptoms or concerns been going on? Have they got better or worse? So you could write two weeks and getting worse. The next question is an optional question, which is, is there anything you're particularly worried about? So you don't have to answer this if it doesn't apply to you. And the next question is a compulsory one, which is how would you like us to help? So you could write, a cream helped last time. The final question is again an optional question, which is please enter any times during opening hours when you can't be contacted. Do note that we'll only contact you during practice opening hours. So you could write, at 4pm, I'm doing this full run. That's the bulk of the form in terms of the medical questions that it asks. And that's it for the information about your medical condition. So the next part of the form will only be about your personal details. On this page, you'll enter your patient details. You'll see here that you can submit a form on behalf of yourself or on behalf of someone else. Making sure that you enter your details in correctly helps the practice match you to your records at your GP surgery. We'll ask you to enter your mobile right at the bottom here, which helps identify yourself to the practice. And also, if you don't have access to the phone right now or don't receive the authentication code, you can continue submitting the form without these steps. But if you do have access to your phone, this means that your request can be identified a bit quicker. So you can click continue. You'll receive an authentication code to your phone number. It can take up to a minute for the text to appear. But once you've received it, you can enter it into the authentication code box and then click confirm code to proceed with the form. This is the final page where you can make any changes. So you have the option to review your request and go back if you notice anything that you'd like to change. Here at the bottom, you can select how you prefer to be contacted and you can select more than one if you'd like. You can also select who you'd most like to speak to and whether you'd like to speak to a particular person. This is really recommended if you've seen someone about this particular problem before. However, it can't be guaranteed and it may mean waiting a little longer for an appointment if you do put a doctor's name in the box here. You can also opt to receive a confirmation text if you just want to have a confirmation code texted to you. Then you can select submit request. You'll see here there's a confirmation screen and you'll be able to see when the practice will contact you here. Do notice that if you do become more unwell, please do consider calling the practice or NHS 111 for advice. And you can also leave feedback for how you found using the form here by clicking on this box. And you can let us know about your experience. Thanks so much for watching this video today. Goodbye.